So in this video, I would like to demonstrate two packages which will help you in web development process if you are using Emacs for that. So the first one is called Emmet Mode. In order for you to install Emmet Mode, all you have to do is use package Emmet Mode and make sure it's installed. So if you are on straight.el, you need to replace this ensure with uh, straight D. And the second package is uh, Web Mode. So use package Web Mode, make sure it's installed and uh, we are adding like uh, these lines are for uh, defining if we open up like an html file we have web mode hook if we open something with .css it will be open with web mode and if we are opening something with uh, a .javascript extension it will also be open with web mode so i don't think this is actually required so you can add hook webhook mode and emmet mode so what this does is when whenever we enter webhook mode it will enable emmet mode at the same time so that's pretty much it about the configuration so without wasting much of our time let's begin stuff so let's kill this buffer we're going to open up a new html file so it's like example dot html for this case and inside this file i'm just going to use my yas snippet so i don't know what's wrong so yas uh, global mode and yas global mode so yas snippet is activated so you have like uh, this basic uh, html template over here so let me turn off the transparency so for this case if we have this file something like this we can give a title over here if you want so one for example and you can give some heading so some stuff that's really up to you and the way this works is like inside any portion of your html file so if you open something like h1 or any html tag for that matter and if you do a closing bracket first one and if you do a backslash it's going to close that statement automatically so that's how this one works so this is thanks to web mode so here i can type something like uh, this is a heading and for this case if i want to give some styling i can use css so style and i can close this with angle bracket and backslash so this will close that out and here i can do something like uh, h1 and i can define the style for h1 like uh, color equals red or something and i can close that statement so let me reduce the font size so this is how it works so besides this we have a met mode so this is like all the functionalities of uh, web mode currently which we have seen the indentation all this stuff are thanks to web mode and thanks to emmet mode we can do some stuff like for example if you are using something like uh, bootstrap the javascript library you need a class uh, container and another class row inside that you can do something like uh, dot container ankle bracket and you can do something like dot row for example ankle bracket and if you hit ctrl j it's going to expand so we have like div class container and div class row for that matter if you want you can specify whatever you need over here so that's how you use emmet mode and web mode so if you want you can read through the wiki of uh, these two packages i will leave the links in the description i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day